local women's club is preparing for their annual theater production virtually and they're inviting you to join them for their skit it's happening in your community the champaign urbana junior women's club tom thumb theater and we have joining us via zoom lori johnson ashley tierney and maddie tierney and it looks like we're going to start with you pig number one and a beautiful princess also known as ashley and maddie thanks for being with us Hi. <laughs> well, things are looking a little different this year with your 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 annual production that you put on. So I'm going to actually start with Lori. Kind of give us the overview about what you guys are all about and what you what your goal is. All right. <clears throat> well, hopefully you have heard of Champagne Urbana Junior Women's Club, and we have put on a Tom Thumb Theater for many many years as a fundraiser for our events that we support. And so this year, obviously, we can't put on a production for you. Normally, we are out on stage acting and directing and, and acting out the parts of the, uh, the fairy tales. But we can't really do that this year. So instead, we are having fairy tales and superheroes, a virtual community skit competition. And so instead of having us doing the acting, we're asking the community to do the acting. So we'll basically have some skits available on our website. They're very short skits, one to three minutes long. Most of them have two to five people in them. They're small casts. And you would go pick out a skit that you think sounds like fun, practice it, take a video of you doing it. And we encourage people of all ages to do this. Um, the, the skits are fun. They're very family friendly. So you can have your children do them. You could have your families do them. You, Adults can do them. It's it's really open to anyone. Well, and, mm -hmm. I would say this is such a fun twist on how you normally do things every year, and now you're encouraging families to get creative. You mentioned that you've got skits online. Do they have to use those, or can they maybe come up with their own their own story? At this time, we prefer to try and do the skits that we have. Um, that way, we know they're going to stay family friendly. And oh, because, good point. Good point. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, yeah, we just encourage people to record the skit, and then um, they will be shown at an event later that we're going to have a Facebook Live event that we will show um, the skit and have voting on oh. those. So it's a community event that um, hopefully there's there's a small fee for you to upload your skit, and that's part of how we're making our money for this to give away our money later, right? And then also the voting, you can pay to vote. That's how we're hoping to raise money this year. We have a lot of wonderful programs we do, and we, of course, need to come up with a clever way to try and raise money. Yeah. Well, I want to make sure we get some time here with Ashley and Maddie. So let's talk about the different skits that people can um, can can put together with their families and friends. Um, we have lunchtime with the three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma and the Big Bad Speeding Ticket, um, Cinderella and the Perfect Revenge, Snow White, Teach of the Year, and Three Princesses in La La Land. Oh, so I'm going to guess you're channeling Princess Number One in that last skit you mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> so what, also, what do you hope people enjoy about participating in this fundraising event? So we're really just hoping that, you know, with this event, you know, obviously, like Lori had mentioned, we do raise funds for the community. Um, we give back in the forms of um, books to second graders. We also um, do grants to small businesses and scholarships at the end of each club year. Um, and so those are some of our supporting places that we, we use, as well as, like, um, DSC is one of our projects this year, um, and Eastern Illinois Food Bank um, is another project that we're helping support this year. Um, so we pick different um, supporting venues every year, but this year, you know, a couple of the ones that we picked were kind of COVID-based, you know, a lot of people are not having that. Um, we were able to still distribute our books this year to the second graders in the public schools of Champaign-Urbana. Um, so we were really excited to still be able to do that, even though 
Um, COVID has, you know, had some restrictions, but that's one of our big parts that we do for the community. And so these, the money that we raise goes towards helping us do that. Well, yeah, and we're not going to let COVID steal one more thing from us. I'm glad that the show is still going on with a little bit of a twist this year. In addition to the skits, you've also got raffle baskets up for grabs, um, thanks to generous donations. And I also want to mention, over the past two decades, you have raised $100,000 that has been able to be given back to the community. So y'all are doing some great work. And unfortunately, we're out of time, but we will connect everybody to how they can find their perfect skit to put together with their family and um, upload that and participate in this year's Junior Women's Club Tom Thumb Theater and make their own production. We'll connect everybody at CILiving.tv. Ladies, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.